Good morning, Internet. Eric Arnold back here in the barn. Once upon a time, it was called the Sports Barn. That was back in uh, earlier this year when there were sports. And that's what we like to talk about. That's what we want to talk about. But, of course, there are no sports. It's 10 of 11 here on Friday, April 10th. Um, what are we going to talk about today? All right, let's let's uh, let's get you, get you ready here. Um, if you want me to cheer you up, you're wanting a happy, happy video with full of optimism and vim and vigor, well, you can tune out right now because this ain't going to be that kind of video. I uh, saw something late last night that just disturbed me, you know, pretty, pretty profoundly. Ruined my sleep, and now I'm still... I'm even more depressed than I normally am today. So, you know, you can tune out. I already got your view, you know. So, uh, and I don't really care about that. They have a stat in the uh, uh, YouTube stats, uh, uh, average duration of view or something like that. I haven't quite figured out what that's good for yet. And really, I'm not taking the stats too seriously at the moment because, you know, I, 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 my whole idea of this channel is to try to get views. Uh, based on uh, people that like sports, people that want to talk about handicapping sports. Uh, will the Cardinals defeat the Brewers on uh, Saturday? Uh, and do we think playing 120 with the Cardinals is a good uh, bet or not? That sort of thing. Well, that's all gone. So, are you ready? Let's get depressed. I saw my wife walking around out there. I don't know why that makes me nervous. I know she watches these videos. I guess I just feel I could be self-conscious if she was standing like right there, you know, listening to me talk about these videos and probably had to start the damn thing over three times. But at any rate, what depressed me? Well, and you may have seen this because it's making its rounds in the sports news this morning, from what I saw, it might be making its rounds in the news news. Apparently, Seton Hall, of all places, that's a college in New Jersey, uh, conducted a poll and they were asking about whether or not people would go attend sporting events, um, you know, in the current environment. And their number that's hit ESPN was 72% said without a vaccination, there's no way they would go to a sporting event, which as ESPN is, uh, see, I told you, there she is. And, uh, yeah, I, I said that. I, he does have a wife. This is my wife, Debbie. <laughs> I told you I was self-conscious. I knew she's lurking about and, uh, I'll probably have to start the video all over again because I'm embarrassed. Uh, is she going? Is she going? Uh, I guess we'll. You want me to leave that in? I guess. I always feel like I have to, like, I don't know, uh, be careful about what I put on the internet. But, you know, she jumped in the video, so I guess she wants me to see. Wants to be in it, so we'll leave her in it. At any rate, where was I? Seton Hall, 72%. ESPN saying 72%. Well, that's not the number. That's all people. And I have no idea why Seton Hall took a poll about whether you would attend sporting events or not, including people that aren't sports fans. That makes no damn sense. I mean, that'd be like asking me. Uh, do you want to go out in the, a, 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 you know, in an area where there's a virus and go watch an opera? Well, no, but I wouldn't watch the opera if there was no virus. You know, it's a stupid question. The real number is 61%. That's the number that Seton Hall pinned down. And it's not on their, you know, the, their actual poll. I, I couldn't find it. You know, all the links link back to a blog of theirs, which is not the actual poll itself, uh, the actual details of a poll. I noted that their school of business did this poll, not their school of political science. As a poli-sci major, maybe you should have left it to the professionals to do this poll. 
Um, but at any rate, they're saying, Seton Hall saying, sports fans, of sports fans, 61% said they will not attend a game uh, unless there's a vaccination. Well, this is a disaster. I mean, and, and I, you know, I'm not going to be like these, uh, 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 what's the name of the Madison, the, the Trump Madison, or whatever you want to call it, the quinine or fluoroquinine, hydrofluoroquinine. Uh, these people go, well, 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 the poll, the poll, the poll. Yeah, the poll's sloppy, but that's still a pretty significant number. Um, and it's, it's bad. It's all bad. I mean, for one thing, I mean, a vaccination, everyone says that is, you're probably looking at next year. Next year. I mean, that means you're almost certainly going to lose sports for the whole year. Uh, I mean, you know, I guess they can play... Uh, uh, you could probably play without fans, but to me, with that number, that also means a couple things. One, uh, that means there's a significant uh, a proportion of actual players in whatever sport that are afraid of playing. Uh, so those guys are going to make trouble when uh, the league comes to them or the college leagues or whatever and say, okay, we're ready to play, we'll play without fans. And a lot of these players are going to go, no, I don't want to. Uh, 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 worse, it also extends to any other type of event. I mean, I can't imagine these people were like, uh, that said, no, I won't go to the game, that also would say, well, yeah, I'd love to go to the bar, or yeah, I'd like to go to a restaurant or a theater or something. These people aren't going anywhere. So whenever they open up the economy, it, uh, you know, you're going to be looking at depression level activity. Uh, people are just going to hide in their houses. Uh, I don't know. So I guess we're losing the argument here. I pointed out in the previous video that you probably, you know, if you're under 50 years old, your chances of getting killed by this are about zero. You know, all right, maybe I just exaggerated there, but very, very low. Um, I, I, maybe I'll crunch the numbers and try to come up with an equivalency as to, do I have a better chance of getting the coronavirus and dying, or do I have a better chance of getting killed in a car wreck? Uh, I think they're probably pretty close to equal, uh, and nobody gets in their car going, gee, I hope this isn't the last time I get in a car. You know, it just doesn't happen. So, uh, and really depressing. I mean, we're losing the argument, I guess. I, I, you know, the, 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 just because you're losing the argument doesn't mean you're wrong. We're not wrong. Um, they should open the economy up. They should do it tomorrow. But they won't. They won't because they realize the people are on their side. They want it closed. You want it closed. Christ. All right, I picked up a few other people here in the past few days. I noticed that are on my side of the argument. We have Bill Bennett. Uh, he's a right-wing uh, guy. His brother uh, defended uh, Bill Clinton. I believe his brother was Bill Clinton's personal attorney during all his uh, uh, picadillos in the late 90s. Uh, Bill Barr, current uh, attorney general, um, who I think is uh, making uh, more... Uh, uh, lucid arguments than the president is. Uh, Barr is uh, sounding more like, okay, you got to turn this loose at some point. You can't just leave it like this. And then, of course, we have Mike Gundy, Ohio, uh, Oklahoma State football coach. Uh, for those of you that don't know who Mike Gundy is, he's actually a fan of our, or we're a fan of his. He has a very good against the spread record. Uh, does a lot with not a lot, uh, not a lot of resources down there in Oklahoma State. Uh, famous for his uh, mullet, if you will. Uh, I think this guy is uh, in his, uh, well, he's probably about my age, I guess, in his early 50s. I guess soon we'll all have mullets because uh, these fascist governors have declared barbers as not essential. Um, I thought about that. I watched a, a, a Civil War movie not so long ago, Andersonville. Uh, and there in Andersonville, the soldiers, I guess, kept the best uh, that they could. You know, they're trapped in this Confederate stockade uh, with all sorts of filth and pestilence and death. 
and the best that they could, they kept their hair shaved, clipped, uh, because had they not, it's a breeding area for pestilence and death and filth and lice and bugs and what have you. So I guess it's all, you know, your perspective of when something's essential and when something's not essential. But for the moment, getting my hair cut apparently is not essential. So, you know, I'll just let it grow. Got no choice. Uh, so there. Uh, I, I'm going to put somebody else on there now that I'm thinking about this. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. I think if he was here watching all this, he'd be embarrassed. This is a guy that said, uh, a man who sacrifices liberty for some temporary safety deserves neither liberty nor safety. So I'm going to put him in my camp because I think he'd be embarrassed the way we're just throwing away our liberties and our rights um, and apparently are preparing to throw them away for months upon months upon the rest of the year at a time. Um, uh, there's no telling what kind of world this is going to look like when uh, we all come out of this, if we come out of it. Um, no telling. Um, you think about that. So, I'm depressed. No sports. No sports anywhere in the foreseeable future. None. None. I'm not optimistic at all. I mean, with numbers like that, with people willing to stay inside indefinitely, uh, there's just chances of having sports are not good. Not good. The, the, the chance, forget sports, set that aside. The chances of having any kind of normal society like we enjoyed just six weeks ago are almost zero. So, you know, this is your new normal. Uh, you like the inside of your house? You better get used to it because that's where you're going to be living for the foreseeable future. And I mean, not a week, not three weeks, not a month, not three months, longer than that. Uh, that's what it sure sounds like to me. Um, I don't have anything else to say. What the hell else is there to say? I'm sure there'll be something else that'll depress me in the news today or tomorrow, and maybe we'll make another video by Sunday, and maybe we won't. At any rate, um, I'll talk to you later. Eric Arnold out.